This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. WFAA.com reports from Fort Worth. American Airlines' parent company proposed reducing its workforce by 13,000 employees as the company cuts costs in bankruptcy. American Airlines' parent company says it lost $904 million in December, which is more than in its first nine months of 2011 combined. KHOU.com reports from Fort Worth. The Roman Catholic Diocese of Fort Worth is facing another lawsuit over sexual abuse involving a priest. The priest accuser was once a student at Nolan Catholic High School. The diocese has already settled 22 lawsuits involving five different priests, paying out more than $8.4 million. The latest case involves Father William Paez, who had been a teacher at Nolan High in the 1980s. The alleged abuse took place at the school, the Rectory of All Saints Catholic Church, and at St. George Catholic Church. According to Fort Worth Diocese, an investigation was launched into the Paez allegation, and the findings were given to the authorities. Paez left Fort Worth in 1987. From WFAA.com, DFW Airport Police arrested Clayton Keith Dovell, a Transportation Security Administration baggage inspector at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, Terminal E, for stealing iPads from check luggage. Davell works in the terminal, but unlike the security checkpoints where passengers are screened, the 35-year-old TSA employee works in an out-of-sight position in what's called the Resolution Room, where checked luggage is screened by hand. That's where police say they think Duvel took iPads that travelers packed away. Theft continues to be a common crime at DFW, but police have been successful catching crooks at the sprawling airport. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.